Ah, uh, today feels like a nice time to talk about everyone's favorite animated toucan. Ladies and gentlemen, the absolute legend himself, Toucanon! No, it's Toucan Sam. What else did you expect? Since the dawn of time, Fruit Loops has been a staple of breakfast cereals all around the world. That is, if you consider the dawn of time to be like, the 60s. After opening a box, a few different colors would greet you and beg to be devoured. There may be a variety in the types of flavors you'd find, but the truth is that each color tastes the exact same. No, I'm not kidding. Despite that, people have fallen in love with Fruit Loops because of its taste, and one of the aspects everyone instantly thinks of is its colorful mascot, Toucan Sam. The design doesn't go out of its way to be complex. He is literally just a toucan. The three colors on his beak represent the very first Fruit Loops flavors, and they would stay even as the years went on. Of course, it didn't take long before he entered the world of TV commercials! These were able to bring new consumers in, and Sam definitely made that happen. Crispy and delicious day for breakfast or for ecking snake. They don't spell any different to me. Why not? I have a cold. <laughs> oh boy. His first few commercials weren't really anything special though. It was kind of just promoting how tasty Fruit Loops were, teaching his nephews about various things. It's not that these ads were bad, but they felt traditional. You watched with low expectations, and you left feeling unsurprised. While this can be said for Toucan Sam's earlier years, I promise you that everything was about to change. The world inside of this serial mascot began to find itself filled with lore and mysteries, something nobody expected to see. As time went on, these commercials would often follow a formula. Sam would journey through tropical settings, coming across a variety of animals in the wild. It would be less obnoxious with promoting the cereal, which in my eyes is always a good thing. Sam's nose played a major role with him smelling a box of Fruit Loops and sharing the love with others. These commercials gave viewers a stunning sense of adventure one that couldn't be replicated elsewhere. New locations with new characters and ideas. It was actually kind of fun. With the years passing by, Kellogg's needed to outdo themselves and bring something different to the formula. How could they better convince people to buy Fruit Loops in a way that hasn't been done before? Well, I'm glad you asked. As it turns out, the answer can be found in a lore-driven way of storytelling. Up until this point in time, most of the commercials were standalone and you didn't have to see what came before. This would massively change in the 90s and early 2000s, where we started getting story arcs. That's right, forget about the epic tales of One Piece or Jojo. Nah, we're here for that Fruit Loops lore. Toucan Sam would come face to face with villains who are against the cereal for one reason or another. An example is Dr. Peacock, who steals Toucan Sam's color with his color ray. The commercial is short, but it ends with a colorless Sam on the box. There is no hope in sight, but there's a second part that continues the story. Everything was quickly resolved, leading to a special rainbow flavor for the cereal. After the evil Dr. Peacock, there was this really weird alien fruit monster who landed on Earth to taste the delicious flavor of Fruit Loops. This ended up lasting four separate commercials, with cliffhangers scattered throughout to keep a viewer's attention. It was actually really smart. This story may not be anything groundbreaking, but it was still an interesting tale of twists and turns. The finale of this whole thing also led to a new, limited time flavor called Alien Berry Fruit Loops. It's not a big change, but I think it's stuff like this that keeps people coming back for more. After all, the same cereal every time would be pretty boring. But okay, if we're talking about the biggest Fruit Loops adventure of all time, the story that genuinely features lore, we need to dive right now into the Black Beak arc. Believe it or not, this was a storyline that lasted 14 different commercials over the course of four years. It's ambitious to be sure, but something that made the serial stand out. The legend unfolds when Toucan Sam's nephews find something interesting in a bottle. This is revealed to be Black Beak's treasure map. Who is this mysterious figure? What even is his treasure. As the strange secrets pile up, here's what we know. An adventure is about to happen that commercials have never seen before. As Sam's nephew set out on a boat and enjoy their Fruit Loops, they eventually come across a place called Glitter Island. They find a treasure chest with golden berry Fruit Loops, but don't get comfortable. The quest continues! Sam and his nephew's journey to a new island, but Phil the Glowworm is here to get his slimy hands on the cereal. They have a brief encounter that only lasts one commercial, but it's fun nonetheless. In the next chapter of Blackbeak's Ark, the Lord you've been waiting for is finally here. Uncle Toucan, tell us about Blackbeak the Pirate. Well, he loved Fruit Loop so much, he plundered the high seas, taking many rare and fruity treasures, then burying them for himself. They're mine! Mine! <laughs> Ooh, 
he didn't share like you. Okay, this is actually playing out like a mini One Piece arc, and that's pretty hype. What's even cooler is that on the back of boxes right here, kids would solve a puzzle to figure out what comes next. This interactivity went a long way since it got everyone thinking about the adventure as they would keep tuning in for new installments. Colossal Island soon greets our heroes, finding a new variant of Fruit Loops. Starfruit Atoll is bright and colorful, offering more treasure for another flavor. This formula would keep going on. They eventually ended up losing their map, which put them in a bit of a pickle. Soon, Sam and his nephews enter this mysterious dark island where they can find the missing map, and voila, the mission is a success. As the ultimate saga enters its final act, the gang comes across Blackbeak's fortress and reads his log to get some more of that juicy lore. Arr, save the treasure! Quiet, mates. Quiet, mates. Hurry, you land lovers! A anchor! Ah, delicious fruity booty. Answers were getting revealed, but before the finale, they would dive underwater for yet another fruity treasure. There were only a few commercials left, but they were either about finding a new location or coming across an enemy. Then, when the 14th commercial aired on TV everywhere, the four year long journey came to an end with a face off everyone was waiting for. You'll have to get past us first. This delicious fruit loop cereal is mine, mine, mine. Fruity flavors to the rescue. <laughs> Uh, it got me. And we've got one yummy breakfast. Uh, that wasn't very satisfying. Either way, let's take a step back and look at it from a bigger picture. This truly did feel like an adventure. Every step of the way, we followed Toucan Sam and his nephews, wondering what obstacles they would face. While the commercials were relatively predictable, I genuinely love the concept of the whole thing. Of course, if anyone was looking forward to each individual chapter as they aired, it's not the most ideal format. YouTube was only just coming out around this time, meaning viewers would have to watch a whole lot of TV to catch each one. It's much more accessible now with playlists, so I highly recommend watching for anyone interested. Looking at it from a marketing perspective, why was this even done? Well, not only did it make viewers happy with each new quest, but it connected the commercial world with the real one. Remember how they always found new flavors that were eventually brought into real life? Kids would probably see that on the shelf, point at it and say, That's when Turkey and Sam went to that one island! Or something like that, I don't know. It's not often that you see advertising campaigns stretched over the course of four years, but Kellogg's pulled it off, and that deserves a round of applause. I'm not even that big a fan of Fruit Loops, but these storylines were really fun. I hope more companies get innovative and try new things. We've gotten to a point where ads are predictable. People know what to expect. There aren't many surprises. Anyway, next time I hold a party for cartoon mascots, Toucan Sam is the first one I'm inviting. He's just such a wholesome guy. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.